Around 550 million years in the past, the ocean harbored a simplistic ecosystem dominated by bacterial reefs and a viscous layer of microbes blanketing the ocean floor. The denizens of this era were rudimentary and often shapeless, with none exhibiting predatory behaviors. However, within a few million years, this uncomplicated ecosystem would vanish, giving way to a diverse ocean teeming with agile and highly efficient creatures. The initial predators emerged during the Cambrian explosion roughly 540 million years ago. These early predators included colossal shrimp-like beings like Anomalocaris, which ensnared their prey with hook-lined mouths, and the peculiar five-eyed Opabinia, utilizing a flexible clawed appendage attached to their heads for hunting. In the subsequent years, the first fish made their appearance, notably the jawless agnathans, of which two groups still survive today, lampreys and hagfish. By approximately 450 million years ago, the ocean was home to the ancestors of the ocean's most formidable predators, the sharks. The first modern sharks took shape during the late Devonian period, around 370 million years ago. These early sharks measured around six feet in length and sported a familiar configuration with a streamlined body, five to seven gill slits, and dorsal fins. The era of sharks had begun, and they soon rose to dominance. The Carboniferous era witnessed the existence of some of the most peculiar shark species to have ever roamed the seas, such as the anvil-headed Stethacanthus, the tooth-whirling Eugeniodon, and the horned Falcotus. Regrettably, these bizarre variations of sharks have since vanished into extinction. The sharks that endured and thrived were primarily those with streamlined bodies, pointed snouts, large pectoral and dorsal fins, and powerful crescent-shaped tails, reminiscent of the great white and short fin mako sharks. These shark species have reigned supreme in the oceans for hundreds of millions of years, until approximately 20 million years ago when evolution embarked on an unusual course, giving rise to the most recent and perhaps strangest addition to the aquatic realm, a novel and enigmatic shark species. With their distinctive mallet-shaped heads adorned with sensory organs and eyes positioned at each end, hammerhead sharks stand out as some of the most recognizable and peculiar-looking creatures on Earth. Their body plan represents a significant departure from other shark species inhabiting temperate and tropical waters worldwide. Often congregating in large numbers during migrations to colder waters, these formidable predators can reach lengths of up to 6 meters and weigh up to 450 kilograms, making them a dominant presence in the world's oceans. The recent evolutionary emergence of such an unusual morphology in hammerhead sharks raises questions about why shark evolution took this unexpected turn and how their unique head shape provides an evolutionary advantage. The iconic hammer-shaped structure on the head of hammerhead sharks is referred to as a cephalofoil, and its size varies among different species. Contrary to what one might assume, this peculiar shape is not a flexible extension of flesh, but rather a flattened and elongated skull. The smallest cephalofoil belongs to the modest bonnet head, also known as the shovel head, while the largest can be found in the winghead shark, whose wing-like head constitutes nearly 50% of its total body length. Other hammerhead species fall within this range. At the tip of each hammerhead cephalofoil are their distinctive bead-like eyes. This arrangement may seem perplexing since the eyes are widely spaced apart, potentially leading one to believe that each eye functions independently, with no overlap in their visual fields. Such a configuration would be less than ideal for a predator. In the case of humans, our forward-facing horizontal visual field encompasses approximately 190 degrees, Binocular vision, where the vision of each eye overlaps, providing depth perception, typically spans 120 horizontal degrees. This trait is common among many predators, as it aids in quickly surveying the environment for potential prey. This ability is made possible by having forward-facing eyes. In contrast, most prey animals have eyes located on the sides of their heads, allowing them to be vigilant against threats approaching from any direction. For instance, pigeons have a wide visual field of approximately 310 degrees, but only a narrow binocular portion at the front. 
This pattern of eye positioning can be observed throughout the animal kingdom, distinguishing between predator and prey species based on eye placement. However, when examining hammerhead sharks, their visual arrangement is not immediately obvious. While they are clearly predators, their eyes are unusually far apart and configured uniquely compared to other vertebrates. The question arises, does the distinctive hammerhead shape hinder or enhance their vision and consequently, their predatory capabilities? In 2009, researchers delved into this mystery by comparing the visual fields of three hammerhead shark species to two sharks with more conventional head shapes. Their goal was to determine which body plan offered an improved binocular field. All the sharks in the study possessed a complete 360-degree vertical visual field with similar vertical binocular overlaps, and the hammerheads did not significantly differ in this regard. However, when examining the horizontal visual field, striking differences emerged. The total monocular visual fields ranged from 308 to 340 degrees, with hammerheads occupying the upper end of this spectrum. When evaluating the binocular field of view, the hammerheads emerged as clear winners. For instance, the lemon shark had a mere 10 degrees of binocular overlap, the black nose shark had just 11 degrees, and even the modest bonnet head exhibited a slightly larger binocular overlap of 13 degrees. In the study, it was revealed that the scalloped hammerhead shark exhibited a 32-degree binocular overlap, while the winghead shark, known for its exceptionally wide head, boasted an impressive 48 degrees of binocular overlap. This binocular overlap increased proportionally with the widening of the head among hammerhead sharks. Consequently, hammerheads gained a notable advantage in their hunting pursuits, as this expanded binocular vision provided them with exceptional depth perception. Among all shark species, they possessed the clearest view of the underwater realm, which undoubtedly contributed to their status as highly effective predators. Hammerheads are adept at capturing and consuming a variety of prey, including stingrays, octopuses, and even other sharks. However, the advantages of the hammerhead's distinctive cephalofoil extend beyond improved vision. This long, flat head shape confers unique hydrodynamics not observed in any other creature in the animal kingdom. When one thinks of agility and speed in the ocean, images of streamlined animals like mako sharks and bottlenose dolphins come to mind, creatures with pointed noses designed to cut through the water effortlessly. In contrast, hammerhead sharks represent a departure from this norm, resembling an aircraft with a wing attached to the front. Hammerheads expend significantly more energy than other typical shark species simply to swim, primarily due to the increased drag generated by their distinctive head shape. This prompts a natural question. Why would nature shape hammerheads in this way, and what advantages, if any, does it confer? Elasmobranchs, which encompass sharks and rays, lack a swim bladder, necessitating continuous swimming to prevent sinking to the ocean floor. For quite some time, it was believed that the cephalofoil of hammerhead sharks acted as a wing, generating lift forces to help these sharks maintain a vertical position in the water column. This theory seemed logical, especially when you compare the shape of the cephalofoil to that of an airplane wing. The technical term for this structure, cephalofoil, even translates to head wing, it's easy to assume that water flow over the cephalofoil functions similarly to air flow over a wing. To test this theory, researchers conducted laser scans of the heads of eight hammerhead shark species. Each digitized head was then placed in a virtual underwater environment, allowing the researchers to measure water pressure, drag, and flow. They repeated the same experiments with a few shark species possessing more typical pointed heads. Surprisingly, the results revealed that the cephalofoil does not generate lift when the shark swims in a regular forward motion. However, when the head is tilted either up or down, powerful forces come into play. This change in the angle of attack enables the shark to rapidly ascend or descend. Therefore, the hammerhead's unique head shape is not primarily for lift, but rather for enhanced maneuverability. This particular type of motion is crucial to how hammerheads hunt. 
Unlike Mako sharks, which engage in long pursuits when chasing prey, hammerheads cruise just above the seafloor, searching for bottom-dwelling prey. Once detected, these prey creatures, such as stingrays or squid, attempt to evade capture by making erratic, zigzagging movements in various directions. The hammerhead shark adeptly follows suit in pursuit. Supporting this hypothesis is the winghead shark, which boasts the largest head relative to its body size among all hammerhead species. It experiences the highest level of drag, but also demonstrates the greatest change in lift as the attack angle shifts. Among the hammerheads, it exhibits the most exceptional maneuverability. When one examines its dietary habits, it becomes evident why evolution led to the development of such an extreme head shape. While most hammerhead sharks typically prey on creatures like crabs or stingrays, which are quick but not renowned for their agility, the winghead shark stands out by primarily feasting on about 93 teleost fishes, such as herrings. Teleost fishes are known for their speed and exceptional agility. The cephalofoil of hammerhead sharks endows them with unparalleled agility in the realm of sharks, allowing them to exploit an ecological niche that remains largely inaccessible to other shark species. But the hammerhead's remarkable capabilities don't end with their agility. They possess an extraordinary sixth sense, a sensory ability for which we humans have no equivalent. This ability allows them to detect minuscule and invisible electric fields in the water. For us, the underwater world is a distorted place where our vision becomes blurred and our hearing is muted. We can immediately sense that the ocean is not our natural habitat. However, beyond our sensory limitations, there exists an entire universe beneath the waves, filled with stimuli beyond our perception, a world of electricity. Electroreception serves as a sixth sense for many aquatic creatures, enabling them to detect the electric fields that permeate the water. This sensory ability provides them with navigational cues and information about the whereabouts of potential prey. Electroreception is predominantly observed in aquatic animals because water is a much better conductor of electricity than air. Among aquatic species, members of the Elasmo branch fish family, which includes sharks, possess finely tuned electroreception abilities. Sharks receive minute electrical signals from their surroundings through a series of pores distributed across their heads. These pores are arranged in distinctive patterns that may vary somewhat among different elasmo branch species. In the case of a great white shark, you can observe clusters of these pores around its eyes and nostrils. These pores contain an electrically conductive jelly and connect to small bulbous cells known as ampullae of Lorenzini, which play a pivotal role in this sensory phenomenon. Every living creature generates electric currents as their muscles contract during movement and their hearts beat. These currents radiate away from them into the surrounding water. These electrical currents, as they travel towards the shark and pass through the jelly, stimulate cilia, which are hair-like projections found on the ampullae. These cilia, in turn, activate sensory neurons. The activation of these sensory neurons triggers the release of neurotransmitters in the shark's brain, signaling the presence of something alive nearby. This unique sensory system functions effectively even when underwater conditions render the five common human senses – sight, smell, taste, touch, and hearing – useless. It operates in turbulent water, complete darkness, and even when prey is concealed beneath the sand. Hammerhead sharks take this extraordinary sensory ability to even greater extremes. With their wider heads, they possess a greater number of electrosensory pores, strategically located over a broader area. This expanded sensory surface enhances their ability to sample their environment, thereby increasing the likelihood of encountering prey. Consequently, when a hammerhead swims above the sandy seabed, it sweeps its head much like a metal detector seeking treasure, with the treasure being a buried stingray. The sensitivity of this metal detector head is nothing short of remarkable. Researchers discovered that newborn bonnethead sharks can detect electric fields with intensities as low as one nanovolt per square centimeter. 
To put this in perspective, it's roughly equivalent to the voltage gradient that would occur in the C if one end of a standard 1.5 volt AA battery were connected to Long Island Sound and the other end to the waters off the coast of Florida. In theory, a shark swimming between these two locations could discern when the battery was switched on or off. Such an astounding level of electrical sensitivity is more than 5 million times greater than anything humans could ever perceive. Even our most advanced technology struggles to detect such minute electrical signals. This remarkable sensory adaptation likely makes hammerheads the most proficient electrical detectors in the animal kingdom. We often regard the weirdest and most peculiar animals as relics of the past, creatures that were enormous, bizarre, or ominous. However, hammerhead sharks remind us that evolution is an ongoing process. What may appear illogical or even detrimental to an animal's survival can, in fact, be the key to its adaptation and successful integration into a highly specific environmental niche. The future of Earth's biodiversity holds countless mysteries. What new forms of life will emerge in the next 50 or 100 million years? How will sharks, given such vast stretches of time, continue to evolve and diversify? These questions tantalize our imagination and underscore the endless wonders of the natural world. The future of sharks, such as the hammerheads, is filled with intriguing possibilities. Recent observations have revealed remarkable adaptations among reef shark species, some of which have developed the ability to walk even above the water during low tides. Other shark species have unveiled new secrets, like bioluminescence, where they can glow in the dark, or the capacity to thrive in both freshwater and saltwater environments. Sharks have been the dominant rulers of the seas since the end of the Cretaceous period, enduring all five mass extinctions in Earth's history. Their resilience is attributed, in large part, to their ability to occupy diverse ecological niches. However, the hammerhead sharks, as one of the newest shark species, have yet to face a major extinction event until now. Many scientists and experts contend that we are currently in the midst of the sixth mass extinction, primarily driven by human activities. Sharks, especially hammerheads, are particularly vulnerable to these threats. Studies in Australia have reported alarming losses, with approximately 80% of scalloped hammerhead sharks already vanished. These magnificent creatures are imperiled primarily by commercial fishing practices, notably for the shark fin trade, where fins are harvested and the remainder of the shark is discarded. The populations of hammerhead sharks, like many other shark species, are dwindling rapidly. If we as a species fail to act responsibly, we may never witness what the future holds for these incredible creatures. Our actions now will play a pivotal role in shaping the destiny of these magnificent sharks and the broader biodiversity of our planet. In conclusion, the future of sharks, especially the enigmatic hammerheads, holds a world of mystery and adaptation. As we've witnessed, these creatures have an astonishing capacity to evolve and thrive in diverse environments, showcasing nature's incredible resilience and ingenuity. However, this remarkable journey into the world of hammerhead sharks also comes with a sobering reminder. Human activities, such as commercial fishing and the shark fin trade, pose a significant threat to these apex predators and the delicate balance of our oceans. But there's hope. By raising awareness, supporting conservation efforts, and fostering a sense of responsibility toward our natural world, we can work together to ensure that future generations will continue to unlock the wonders of these incredible creatures. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of hammerhead sharks and the awe-inspiring mysteries of the ocean. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Unlock Wonders for more captivating journeys through the marvels of our planet. Together, we can protect and preserve the wonders of the natural world.